Hi, it's Corey, and today you're gonna learn how to play Fast Car by Tracy Chapman. So the version that we're doing today is what I consider an easier version of this song. That being said, it's not the easiest song to play. So I would definitely put this at like a high beginner to intermediate level. We're not doing any picking today, but the issue is it's a very fast song. So today we only actually have five chords that we're using for this whole song. And the chords aren't difficult, but I think the thing that you'll find difficult about playing these chords with the strumming patterns and singing is that the singing part is actually quite difficult. The strumming part's like so, so difficult, but the chords they're pretty easy so let's jump into those. To start off you have two one finger chords the first one being the C major chord that's just gonna be your third finger placed on the first string third fret. The next chord we have is a C major 7 and you're actually gonna be playing that more often than the C major chord and that's just your second finger placed on the second fret of the first string. We also have the D major chord, and that's gonna be played all on the second fret here. Your first finger is gonna start on that fourth string, your second finger is gonna go on the third string, and then your third finger is gonna go on the second string. We also then have an E minor chord. This is probably the most difficult of all the chords we're playing for this song, but it's pretty easy to make. You're gonna start with your first finger, place that on the first string of the second fret. Your second finger is gonna go on the third fret second string, and then your third finger is gonna go on the fourth fret third string. And there's that E minor. Then finally, wrapping it all up, we have a G major. This G major is going to start with your first finger placed on the second fret third string. Your second finger is then going to go on the second fret first string. And your third finger is going to go on the third fret second string. So something that's absolutely vital before you move on to any other parts of this song is making sure that you have those chords down, pack. Can't really look at the chord chart for this. That will be the first hurdle that you'll want to get over. After you're really, really comfortable with those different chords, let's take a look at the two main strumming patterns we're going to be using for this song. First is going to take place in all the instrumental sections or the times when you're not singing in between the many verses of this song. Then the second strumming pattern is what you're actually going to be using as the base for your chorus section. Um, and for your verse, if you choose to not do the musical interlude throughout, which you can do, but I find it, it definitely makes that a little bit more tricky as opposed to doing the chorus strum on the verses. So for the sake of this tutorial, we're going to call that first strum as strum number one or the instrumental strumming pattern. For the other strum, we're gonna call that the verse or chorus strumming pattern because that's what you're using for the bass of the rest of the song. Let's start then with just that verse and chorus strumming pattern because it is the easier of the two. And that strumming pattern is simply a down, up, down, down, up, down, 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 up. Now on its own, sped up, you have a down, up, down, down, up, down, 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 up not too hard. For most of this tune on in the verses, you're going to be splitting that strumming pattern between two chords. The way you'll split it is, we'll demonstrate this with the C major 7 and the G because that'll be the first split, is you're going to do on the C major 7, a down, up, down, and then switch that G to end it where you have that down, up, down, down, up, down, 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 up. So again, you're splitting it with a down, up, down, split, up, down, 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 up. So again, down, up, down, switch, up, down, 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 up. You'll then repeat this when you're doing your E minor and the D for the same strumming pattern in the verse section. Down, up, down, switch the D, down, up, down, 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 up. This entire transition ends up sounding like this. how that really starts to sound a lot like the accompaniment even though we're not doing a picking pattern. The only way this changes for the chorus section is rather than doing a split you're just going to be playing one chord for the entire strumming pattern and then switching. Now after that your arm felt nice wrapped around my shoulder we get to the eyes. That's where we're going to split again. So as a quick review for the verse starting on that C major we're doing a down up down switch the G down up down 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 up to the E minor, down, up, down, switch to the D, on down, up, down, 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 up, 
for our verse section. When we're working with the chorus, we're just staying on a single chord and playing that same strumming pattern. So again, split strum versus a full strumming pattern per chord for the verse and the chorus section. Now, here's where it gets a little bit trickier when we're doing the instrumental interludes, which you can do this throughout the entire verse if you choose, but it is going to make it more difficult. For the play along, I'll just be doing it the way I'm presenting it here because I think this makes it the easier version for people and I want people to be able to play along if they want. Really broken down, what we have for this initial instrumental thing, and then you're gonna just repeat it over and over again. You're gonna start on that C major seven and you're going to strum down, then you're gonna to move to a C major for your up and then back to your C major seven for a down again, and then get to the G on your up, and then do an up, down, 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 up. Then you're going to play an E minor twice on a down, down, and then move to the D on a down, up, down, 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 up. The entire thing sounds like this. So you can really hear that we're really emulating the picking pattern that otherwise happens in this song in these instrumental parts. Now, what you're going to have to get used to is on the switch from the C major seven to the C major, you're just going down and then up, down. I would practice that over and over again so you're really, really fluid with down, up, down, and then moving to the G on the next up. So again, really practicing down, up, down, switch chords. So C, 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 G. Again, C major seven, C major seven, G. It's hard to say that fast. See, the other difficult part about this song is just getting the prosody of the lines down. Um, there are a lot of words here. So just know that. And I would also take it slower than what the recording is. The recording somewhere around 110 beats per minute. I recommend taking it at like 85 to 90. You can always speed up, but it's always gonna be more difficult for you to slow back down. So just keep that in mind. So with all of that, we've gone over the chords. We've gone over those different strumming patterns. What I'm going to do now is give you that play along and you can use the different sections in the play along to help you practice. This is a very long song. There are like six verses in it. So I want to make sure to have this tutorial to be not a crazy long length. But if you feel like there are any questions that you don't feel like have been answered from this version of the tutorial. Again, this is about as easy as I could simplify it and make it. So if you if you think an even like more broken down version would be helpful, you know, let me know or otherwise too on my Patreon, I do offer for one of our tiers, like I call them sessions, where once we decide on a time and date that we're meeting, people get to pick songs that they want to work on. And as a group, we work on a number of songs. So, you know, who knows, maybe this is the one we work on. I'm going to jump into the play along here, let you see what it's like all together. Check out my song sheet on my Patreon if you think that would be more helpful, but otherwise write your questions down in the comments below and I hope you get playing. So let's go. One, two, here we go. And Somewhere, any place 
that is Fast Car by Tracy Chapman. I hope you found this helpful. If you think an even more broken down version of this would be helpful, let me know. You can find the song sheet for this song as well as all my other tutorials and play alongs on my Patreon and a bunch of other resources too. So if you'd like to check that out, the link is in the description box. But otherwise, I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye. I want a ticket anywhere, maybe.